All words that easily, you're, it's easy to read for you. But what about your dog? That's right. Our next guest is a golden retriever that apparently can read. Abigail is a service dog who works with students who have special needs. Her wow. unique skill has inspired students to learn to read as well. So how does she do it? Well, right now with Abigail is her owner, Dan Galloway. Good morning to you, Dan. Good morning. I, I know you've got the flashcards. Show us how you taught Abigail yes. how to read. Okay, I will do that. But first, uh, she's really not my dog. She's a, a canine companion for independence um, facility dog. She okay. works with me at, uh, at the school system in, in St. Lucie County. Okay. And um, I've taught her how to read Let's over see and above her basic training that she received. Right. All right. Let's see okay. how you do it. Abigail, off. All right. Now, she's not perfect. She may very well be reading my nerves here, so <laughs> let's see what happens. All right. Abigail, what's it say? Good. Good job. Wow. All right. Abigail, what's it say? No. Look. There you go. Come on. You can do it. That's it. No. Move this. What's it say? Good girl. That is incredible. Good. Very nice. Let's do this again. Abigail, good girl. There was a wire on the floor a second What's ago right say? at the end that she didn't want to sit on. Right. Abigail, what does that say? What's Get? it say? That's it. Good girl. Oh, you're right. I shouldn't say her that Her purpose way. really isn't, yeah, her purpose really isn't reading. She motivates our children, and if she makes mistakes, it's really not an issue. Good girl. <laughs> That was dropped. Drop. Okay, Incredible. Dan, Dan, so it took three months for six words. Tell us how you use this right. to help kids. Well, when we visit classrooms, especially our children that are uh, special kids, the um, ESE kids, mm -hmm. she motivates them. They have a hard time with academics generally, so um, when they see a dog that can read, it gives them the message that they can read as well. We're also uh, getting stories from them and poems. Mm -hmm. It's fabulous. Do one more. CCI one more? has really done a great job. Okay, you have one more one flashcard. More. Yeah. Yes. Let's see. Can we right. do this one. Abigail, what's it say? Good. Nice job. <laughs> oh, that girl. is incredible. Is this the only dog that you know of, Dan, Abigail. that knows how to read? Actually, no. There's other dogs. Uh, a Bonnie Bergen in California developed the program years ago, and I heard about it, so I just picked it up and applied it to my dog. All right. If you hear of any dogs that can talk, let us know. Right. Because this we, is extraordinary. We're spin off to a series oh, like Mr. Ed. That is really great. All right, uh, Dan Galloway. Absolutely. Great work you're doing down there with the special needs kids, and that is a fantastic Wait, bye -bye. dog. Wait, bye-bye. Abigail, sit. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good girl. <laughs> Very Nicely good. done. All right, thanks for joining us today from West Palm Beach, Florida. What an inspirational story to end our show today. But we're not quite finished because next, how college students can win 10